Hi everyone, welcome to Studio Jake. I'm your host, Jake Berry, and I would like to invite you to subscribe and ring that little bell so you can get all kinds of great comic book reviews. So, I'm continuing my series on Dark Knight Metal. It's the new series uh, that uh, DC Comics is doing, and I've just made it my a small goal in life just to review all of these from my vlog. Very excited about about um, all the stuff that is coming out. And right now, I've got Batman the Merciless. So, a little bit of a bat story. Um, you know, the, the evil Batman from the Dark Multiverse. They're taking over Earth Prime and the DC Universe you, from Challenger Mountain that has taken over Gotham City. So, Batman the Mer Merciless is a Batman with Wonder Woman's powers. Now, now this for this one, Batman the Merciless... It's very interesting. It's written by Peter J. Tomasi and drawn by Francis Manipal. And I did think the concept was interesting. So basically in Earth-12 negative in the Dark Multiverse, this Batman, the Merciless, um, he and Diana, also known as Wonder Woman, they're in love. And so what happens is... Um, they, Justice League has a war with Ares, and Ares actually wins. But, ba and Batman is the last Justice Leaguer standing. And so, during the battle, Ares' helmet gets knocked off, and Batman, uh, before Ares can do anything about it, um, it's a really cool scene. Uh, Batman grabs Ares' helmet and puts it on. You can see that in this lower panel here. And as you can see, um, Ares is not expecting it. And what's happening now in, in the um, in the universe is uh, Argus and all the other this Task Force X, they're all coming together to decide what to do, and this Batman is invading that government installation. And it's really interesting, it's really fascinating. I have to admit, and I'm sad because this is the only one of the glossy covers. I might have mentioned that already, but I'm sad about it. Um, the only thing is, I, I have to admit, I wasn't too keen on it. To me, this one seemed a little repetitive of some of the other stuff, you know, of Batman Gone Dark because of everything. Now, it doesn't focus so much on his origin as the others have of the of the evil Batman. This one just kind of glosses over it and um, and brings it to the forefront, and it shows like his encounter. And they decide to basically uh, bomb him. But as you can see, that doesn't turn out so well. But this Batman is brutal. And like I said, he basically, because he has Ares' helmet and his sword at this point, he's just as powerful as the new gods, essentially, you know, from the Jack Kirby series. Um, like I said, I did think it was interesting. It wasn't my favorite of of these Dark Knights. It's actually, I have to say, I think it's my least favorite. I might have said that already. I apologize if I had. But I did enjoy it. It was fun to read. Uh, but I just think that Red Death and The Drowned and a couple of the other ones were so much better. Um, that being said, it is an integral part of Metal. You kind of figure out what's going on. Um, and as you can see, the Doomsday Clock is coming. And I actually got... I'll show you this real quick. I actually got the pin. It's pretty cool. But anyway, um, neither here nor there as far as that's concerned. Um, anyway, Batman the Merciless. Definitely check it out. It's worth having in your collection. I think I probably would have liked it better if it had actually gotten the glossy cover. But, you know, because I didn't, you know, I'm kind of a little disappointed. They were all out. I went to three comic book stores, um, actually four, and I couldn't find it. And I just finally landed on this one. I thought, okay, fine. I'll just grab this one. This was, uh, it, like I said, it was still good, just my least favorite out of the bunch. So pick up your copy at your local comic book shop. Don't go to some fancy schmancy place. Go to your local comic book store and support them. Enough said about that. Be sure to, again, like and subscribe. Ring the little bell here at Studio Jake. You can find me on social media at Real Jacob Airy, Instagram real.jacob.airy, Facebook is author Jacob Airy, and of course my blog is www.jacobairy.blog. Check it all out, and remember I'm on a little bit of a hiatus. It'll go through until January 2018. That's when I kick back with full episodes. 
For now, I'm doing a lot of these pre-recorded vlogs. I hope you enjoy them, and I'll see you next time right here on Studio Jake.